Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. 10 Amazing Things Captured in the Depths of the Sea Welcome to Mind Read. We're really glad that you could join us today, and we know that some of you are back after being here from another video, so we'd like to say thank you. But if this is your first time, then welcome, and we're so glad that you could make it. This exciting countdown is on the topic of 10 Amazing Things Captured in the Depths of the Sea. So let's cool down, get our wetsuits on, and get ready to dive in. All right, everybody ready? Let's get started. Number 10. At the 10th spot, we're showing you this unbelievable phenomenon. The wreck of the Titanic is here, right on the bottom of the ocean floor. Have you seen it before? Perhaps in a documentary? It really is majestic, but also quite eerie. The wreck of the Titanic sits at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, just off the coast of the Canadian province of Newfoundland. It's been there since April 1912, when it hit an iceberg and sank on its maiden voyage from Southampton, England, when headed to the world-famous New York City. Of the 2,207 passengers and crew on board, more than 1,500 passed away. Atlantic Productions London is a team behind an upcoming documentary that's set to air the explorer's findings, including captured footage of a particularly affected area located on the starboard side of the ship. The company stated that the team of experts and scientists examined the remains of the ship, capturing for the first time extraordinary native 4K footage using specially adapted cameras. And in another statement from Atlantic Productions, using the submersible camera systems, the team performed and dedicated photogrammetry passes on the wreck, allowing highly accurate and photoreal 3D models of the RMS Titanic to be produced. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for all of you that'll just take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And boom, 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number nine. At spot number nine, we're introducing you to the real treasure under the sea. But not just any treasure. This was a fortune found that was worth a whopping one million US dollars. So let's go check it out. This locality is a bit secret. The finders were ecstatic, and although they filmed it here, they gave no big explanation about the details. Well, except to say that they became filthy rich overnight. Have you ever found treasure? Number eight. At the eighth spot, we're so excited to show you this amazing sea creature. This is the anglerfish. With over 200 species known in the scientific world, anglerfish have got researchers very interested indeed. These amazing sea creatures have spikes outside of their body. They also have a very obvious lure above their heads, which they use to find food. In fact, each anglerfish has a special kind of lure to only attract its own species in the depths of the ocean. All right, and on to the next spot. Number seven. At spot number seven, today we're looking at a coral reef. But not just any coral reef. This is the absolutely memorizing Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is one of the world's most extraordinary and brilliant natural wonders. And it's the largest coral reef system in the world. It's also the only living organism that can be spotted from space. It's even bigger than the UK. Home to around 1,500 species of fish and other significant and beautiful marine life, it boasts over 200 types of birds, and it's also one of Australia's greatest conservation successes. Deemed a World Heritage Area since 1981, the world's first reef ecosystem to be recognized by UNESCO. It is extremely protected and said to be one of the best managed marine areas on the planet. Number 6. At spot number 6, we're looking at this very cool creature, a great white shark. Great white sharks are known to be migratory, with the species making long migrations every year. In the depths of the eastern Pacific Ocean, great whites migrate between Mexico and Hawaii. In other popular basins, some solo sharks migrate even longer distances. Like with many highly migratory species, the very largest individuals are female. Great whites will mate through a process known as internal fertilization and give live birth to a number of large young, over three feet in length. Although they give live birth, great whites do not connect to their young through a placenta. Instead, whilst the gestation period occurs, the mother provides her young with unfertilized eggs that they actively eat for nourishment. After they're born, young great whites are already natural predators by nature, and they eat coastal fish. 
As they grow, their preferred prey also gets larger, and the largest, most mature individuals prefer to eat marine mammals, like seals and sea lions. Also known to take very deep dives, they do this to feed on slow-moving fish and squids in the cold waters of the deep ocean. Number 5. We're halfway now, everyone, and we're taking you to meet this unusual creature, the box jellyfish. The infamous box jellyfish develops unbelievably powerful venom to instantly stun or kill its prey, including shrimp and fish, so that their prey's struggle to escape doesn't damage their delicate tentacles. Here, up to 15 tentacles grow from each corner of the bell and can reach 10 feet in length. Each tentacle has about 5,000 or so cells that sting, and these are triggered by the presence of a chemical on the outer layer of its prey. They have developed the ability to move in the sea, rather than just drift, pushing up to four knots through the water. They also have eyes grouped in clusters of six on the four sides of their bell. Each of these clusters includes a pair of eyes with a sophisticated lens, retina, iris, and a cornea too. Although with no central nervous system, scientists aren't sure how they see or process this vision. Number 4. At spot number 4, we're taking a red-hot look at the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is a crescent-shaped trench in the western Pacific Ocean, just east of the Mariana Islands near Guam. This region surrounds the trench and is noteworthy for many unique environments. The Mariana Trench contains the deepest known points on the whole planet, with vents bubbling up liquid sulfur and carbon dioxide too. With active volcanoes and aquatic life adapted to pressures which are over 1,000 times that at sea level. Number 3. At the third spot in this countdown, we're teaching you about this cool creature. This is a Magna Pena Squid. Magna Pena Squids are one of the more ethereal creatures on the ocean depths. Little is known about these squids because very few of them have ever been captured. Although, over the last decade, with increased usage of remotely operated vehicles, more and more footage is emerging of them. They're highly unusual, with fins up to 90% of the length of their body featuring the mantle and unbelievably long length of the arms. This squid will hold some of the arms at a 90-degree angle from the side of its body. Number 2. Here's today's best pick, and this one's sent in by Naomi Waddles from Idaho in the U.S. Thank you very much, Naomi. This school of fish is quite a treat to see in the depths of the Indian Ocean. These guys stay together and feed and move in unison, as if they knew where the others are. So how do fish move in what are called schools? Well, let's find out. Fish follow a few simple rules to form a complicated choreography in group format. A fish decides where and how to move, which is relative to its position within the mass of the school. Schooling fish watch one another and also feel the waves with their counterparts, with pressure-sensitive pores along their body known as the lateral line. Fish swim in schools to better protect themselves from other sea predators, improve their foraging too, and swim more efficiently and quickly. Unlike shoaling, in which fish merely swim near each other, schooling requires very coordinated body positions and synchronized movement to maintain the hold of how they keep as a school. And once again, a big thanks to Naomi for sending this one into mind read today. Number 1. At spot number 1 now, and we've reached the top spot. The prize-winning oceanic treat, captured in the depths of the sea. Can you guess what it is? You're gonna love this one. South Sea pearls are cultured using a large, white-lipped oyster, hand-selected from the waters of the South Pacific Ocean. The oyster is about double the size of the Akoya pearl oyster and has much larger pearls. These gorgeous pearls are cultured in places like Australia, the Philippines, Indonesia, Myanmar, Japan, and even Thailand. A pearl's value can range from $300 US dollars to $1,500 US dollars. South Sea or sourced pearls are considered the world's most valuable though. They're also the largest pearl type on the market in the whole world. In fact, a strand of South Sea pearls can range from 1,000 to over 100,000. And deep sea pearls take our number one spot in the countdown today for the 10 amazing things captured in the depths of the sea. A big thanks for joining us here at MindRead today. You can scroll down below and leave a hello because we always love chatting with our viewers. You can check out more of our videos right now or turn on notifications. And we'll see you here tomorrow for another amazing video.